Good afternoon. Uh, NATO allies uh, continue to uh, strong diplomatic efforts uh, to find a political solution to the serious crisis uh, triggered by Russia's uh, military buildup in and around Ukraine. Despite Moscow's claims, we have seen no sign of withdrawal or de-escalation so far. On the contrary, Russia's buildup appears to continue. We continue to monitor developments very closely. We call on Russia uh, to do what it says and withdraw its forces from the borders of uh, Ukraine. This will be an important first step towards a peaceful political solution. Today, we met with our close partners, Ukraine and Georgia. We addressed the continued threat of Russian aggression, the deteriorating security situation in the Black Sea region, and NATO's strong political and practical support for both countries. NATO and allies are helping Ukraine boost its ability to defend itself. Self-defense is a right uh, enshrined uh, in the UN Charter, and allies are helping Ukraine to uphold that right, including with um, trainers and military equipment for Ukrainian armed forces, cyber and intelligence expertise, and with significant financial support. We also discussed the presence of Russian forces in the Georgian regions of Abkhazia and South Ossetia, and the vote of the Russian Duma recommending the recognition of the non-government controlled areas of Donetsk and Luhansk. We all agree that uh, uh, would be a, f a further blatant uh, violation of Ukraine's territorial integrity and sovereignty, and of the Minsk uh, agreements undermining the efforts uh, to find a political solution in the Normandy format. Today, allies confirmed that NATO's door remains open. Any decision on NATO's membership is for NATO allies and aspirant uh, countries to take, nobody else. The right uh, of each nation to choose its own path is absolutely uh, fundamental for European and transatlantic security, and it must be <coughs> respected. NATO allies um, restated their strong support for the sovereignty and territorial integrity uh, of both Georgia and Ukraine. We cannot accept a return to an age of spheres of influence where big powers bully, intimidate, or dictate to others. <coughs> Sorry, <clears throat> there can be no decisions about Ukraine without Ukraine, and no decisions about Georgia without Georgia. We agreed that in times of tension, dialogue is even more important. NATO remains open to engaging with Russia in good faith. Allies are ready to sit down with Russia in the NATO-Russia Council, address a wide range of issues and find common ground. In the final session of our ministerial, we met with our close partners, Finland, Sweden and the European Union. We share the same values, we face the same challenges, and the crisis in and around Ukraine affects us all. So we agree that uh, it is even more important now that we continue to work together and complement each other's efforts to bring this crisis to a peaceful uh, solution.